There's something that's bothering you and it's eating away at you. And if you think if that problem went away, you would have peace. Every one of us has some problem that keeps us up at night. We're thinking about it and we're saying, man, if that went away, I'd be all right. Guess what? When that one goes away, there's going to be another one. And when that one goes away, there's going to be another one. And when the other one comes, you're like, the last one was easier. This, where did this come from? <laughs> this is way a bigger problem. What does Allah give you when you can trust Him? He doesn't end your problems. This life, problems will not go away. If problems were going to go away, they would have gone away for Yaqub a lot sooner than for you and me. If, the pro if no problems would have come, because we have Iman, then Maryam alayha should not have had problems. Rasulullah should not have had problems. You study the people that are closest to Allah and all you're studying are problems. Really big ones, their entire life. That's all you're studying. You're just learning about one problem to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. That's all you're learning. Yusuf alayhi salam, a great profound messenger of Allah and... I mean from childhood there are problems. From childhood there are problems. So what, I keep asking that question. What is it that Allah is giving you? What do you get when you completely put your trust in Allah in the middle, in the thick of a difficulty when everybody else is telling you Allah is, on the one hand people are telling you Allah is angry at you, that's why this is happening. Allah hates you, that's why this is happening. On the other hand, you start thinking Allah is punishing me, that's why this is happening. At that moment when you can have the best impression of Allah and maintain your love and reliance and bond with Allah, that Allah is, has not let you go. He hasn't, what does He give you? Yahdi qalba. He guides this person's heart. He gives their heart guidance. I can guarantee you, when your problem goes away, if it's a money problem, if money comes in, if it's a health problem, and health comes back, if it's a family problem, the family problem goes away. None of the good things in this life are worth anything compared to that one gift. That one gift is Yahdi qalba. He'll guide his heart your heart will be at peace. No matter what is happening in life, there's still a smile on your face. And people are looking at you and saying, why are you smiling? Why are you okay? Look at what's happened to you. Look at what's going on. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. It's cool. When you can develop that, there are people that will have all the money in the world and they still can't sleep. There are going to be people that have everything you ever imagined will bring happiness. They have it. And they don't have peace. They don't have, they, 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 they are not happy with themselves. They drown themselves in drugs and alcohol to get, to escape reality. They can't face reality. And other people watch videos about how, how, how amazing their crib is and how sweet their ride is. And they're looking at that and saying, I want that. Ya layta lana mithla ma utiya Qarun. I, I wish we had what Qarun has. Man, that's, that's some boss life he's living. And yet on the other hand, all, all, all Allah will give you, if you can turn to Him, He'll give you the one thing that no amount of money, no amount of popularity, no amount of people not arguing, or people liking you, people appreciating you, none of that will give you what this one gift that can only be given by Allah, Yahdi Qalba. Allah will guide His heart. Allah will guide this person's heart. This is the ultimate gift of Iman. This is the ultimate gift of musibah. So now, let's finally, let me conclude. People are stuck. You're stuck, I'm stuck. In some situation, we, we don't see a way out. Those difficult situations are actually Allah's way of giving us the most valuable gift we could ever earn. His way of guiding our hearts. If we can just use those situations to find Allah in those situations, to talk to Allah in those situations, and you don't have to know Arabic to do that. You don't have to know a lot of Qur'an to do that. You just turn to Allah and you say, Ya Allah, you are the best of planners. Ya Allah, nobody loves me like you do. Nobody cares for me like you do. I know this situation is best for me, guide me. I need your guidance. There is no way that you will turn to Allah genuinely asking Him for guidance and He will turn you away. You will ask Allah for a car, He may not give you. You can ask Allah for a house, He might not give you. You might ask Allah to cure your disease, He might not. Maybe he will, maybe he won't, because he knows what's better for you. But one thing guaranteed he will give you when you ask him sincerely is his guidance. That he will give you. And when he gives you that, everything else is solved. Everything else is taken care of. May Allah Azza wa make us people who truly, genuinely beg for his guidance. And may Allah make all of our difficulties, all of the challenges we have in our life, 
a means by which we draw closer and closer to Him and earn His priceless guidance. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil ayat wa dhikr al-Hakim.